Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm sorry the desk is in such a mess. There is a little story coming your way. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to fix the light. I put the ring light on to try and stop the glare off the main light. And it is not helping. Yes, so there's a little story. It is now quarter past, half past one, sorry, on Monday, Tuesday afternoon even, half term. So I've been chilling out and took a couple of days just to do absolutely nothing. And I decided I was going to bring you the Kelly O'Gorman Colour Along with some new budget pencils. So I started, did my usual bit of practice and um, I, I, I'm speechless to be honest. I, this paper is fantastic. We know it takes Prismas and I've tested it with uh, Polychromos and you know it is gorgeous paper. These budget pencils, I selected the colours and tested to see if they'd be okay for skin tones, which they were. But after I've done about four layers, you know like the wax bloom that you get on Prismacolors? Now these, bear in mind, were meant to be oil based. There was like a kind of resistance building up on the paper. I'd done about, like I say, about three or four layers and it wouldn't take any more. So, well, what's going on? So I t got another piece of cardstock from Jackson's Art and, um, tested them on there and again the same thing happened like this kind of film developed on the page so I erased it nothing I couldn't get anything to go back over the top of it I am so disappointed and so sorry folks I'm not even going to give you the brand of the pa of the pencils because I was so upset by their performance um, that I wouldn't want any of you to fall into swap but I will tell you they are, if it gives you a clue, they are square barrels. Say no more. Now, if we weren't going to layer with them, absolutely fine. Beautiful. But if you wanted to layer, don't even bother. So, <laughs> I was very upset. Very, very upset. And it ruined my Kelly page. So, I have, ta I have actually torn it out. And you'll see what I mean. Okay. So, here she is. And you'll say to me, well, Lucy, what's wrong with her face? It's fine. There's nothing wrong with her face. What are you talking about? That is a repair job. That is a photocopy that I've coloured in on Jackson Art Paper. And I've stuck over the top because there was absolutely no way I was going to get any colour down on that paper. Now, I'm just hoping that I don't... I had coloured, started these with you. And the whole video has been scrapped. And I'm just hoping that I will be able to colour over the top of those otherwise I will be doing another repair job so I will go back through the skin with you but it scared me to death enough that I, I, I need to move on for a minute um, I will show you I used four colours for her skin that's it in the polychromos so that's what we're using today polychromos not budget pencils unfortunately I really really wanted them to work well but they just weren't having any of it. So my apologies, folks. And this video that I thought I'd got all planned and was going to be lovely and quick and, you know, we were going to glide through it. No. No. It's like the universe said to me this morning, no, Lucy, no playing today. We're going to make everything twice as hard for you. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm not going to waffle on. I'm going to show you how I want to colour the background because I'm struggling... I've got in my head the colour scheme that I want, but I'm struggling to choose the colour for her hair. And I've got two or three ideas in mind, but I think if I fill the heart in, then she might pop out a little bit. So if I bring you bring the camera into this section of heart at the top here, you can see Kelly's given us shading. So I've got four colours. I've got Kaput Mortem, which I use for skin, and I did on this lady. Um, middle cadmium red, permanent carmine, and I've got pale cad uh, geranium lake. All right, let's give this a go. I just pray, otherwise I'm going to have to do <laughs> a community um, tab saying, well, I can't do Kelly's calendar, it's ruined. So 
I'm going in with the put mortem just lightly. I'm, I'm really scared now. Um, I was so angry that this had ruined my Kelly page. You wouldn't believe it. So um, please don't put in the comments which pencils you think it is because um, I don't want a load of drama and fuss with people saying, oh, well, I can use them perfectly well. They may well be able to use them perfectly well. I couldn't. I don't know whether it's a faulty batch or what the heck's going on, but I have never experienced anything like it. I really haven't. So I will contact them and see what they say. Um, but I just don't want the drama. I don't like confrontation, upset or anything like that. So I just don't, you know, I just want to move on and forget <laughs> the awful ordeal. So I have now learnt my lesson. I am going to probably going to end the search for budget pencils that work as well as polychromos or don't, that doesn't include my crayons. I love the crayons. Um, but I'm probably, I'm desperate for the luminance. I've got like 12 luminance and I want the um, Holbein's and I want the Derwent Light Fast. Now I should have just put the £30 towards my um, luminance set, the, the 12 luminance that I've got. Sorry, I'm going in with Middle Cadmium Red. I'm sorry, I'm outraged. <laughs> So I'm going right back over that Kaput Mortem with this colour. Around here there'll be a bit of shading too. Um, yeah, I'm so upset. And um, I, yeah, like I said, I've never experienced anything like it. And not to... I know we've had pencils that don't layer and things. They, you know, they're not good for layering or blending, you get all those different types, but to have a pencil that, I, you know, like at this now I could erase and you know that you could go back over the top of it. It probably wouldn't disappear completely, but it would erase and allow you to colour over it. Uh, so I have never experienced this like film build up um, that I couldn't get rid of. So, and it's definitely, definitely not Kelly's paper. Kelly's paper is amazing on this calendar. Um, so I'll stop rambling. <laughs> um, yeah, should have known and should have just put, like I say, the money towards building up one of the sets that I've started. So, okay. Gonna bring that out a little bit further here. But I, I wanted to still wanted to bring you the calendar. I didn't want you know, it's such good fun. Oh sorry, I'm going back in there and I'm gonna put it up in this corner. It's such good fun, so beautiful that um there was no way I was gonna let it bring me down, people. We were still doing it together. Right. There we are. Okay. So next colour is Permanent, oh, where are you? I've lost you. <laughs> Permanent Carmine Red. And we're going to go over that. So, um, we broke up from school for a week. On Friday. I literally spent Saturday um, and Sunday and yesterday just completely relaxing and unwinding um, and it was lovely so now it's back on all systems go catching up with washing <laughs> all the fun jobs you know that you don't get to do when you're at work all the time so but it's all good it's okay all right we just i'm just building this up lightly Bring that up to that bit. Okay, and then we're going in with Pale Geranium Lake. This is a nice bright 
happy red. And we are going to have to go over this and layer it back up because as you can see there's quite a lot of white space still on the paper because the paper is quite toothy. trying to build that little bit of colour up there. Alright, let's go back in. So, Kaput Mortem. So yes, I spent two and a half, three hours maybe of my life that I'll never get back. <laughs> a, repairing this page, but B, figuring out what the heck, you know, I thought it was something I'd done wrong. I thought, what is going on? What have I done? And it didn't matter what I did I could not correct it so I had to go off fuming and I put some of that energy into some of the housework that I had to do raging and mumbling to myself under my breath like you do and, oh, I should have known better <laughs> it was oh dear honestly folks you couldn't write it could you you really couldn't I'm just building up my beautiful colours. And that Kaput Morton gives us a really nice, if you go back over it with the red, gives us a really nice, good shadow for our gorgeous red heart. I do think about pink, but it's Valentine's. Had to be a red heart. Could have been pink, I suppose, but it just screamed red to me. So, I'm sorry if I'm waffling a lot today. I'm back in with our palest colour. I, the adrenaline's pumping, people. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm trying to move on, but it's not working. <laughs> okay. Beautiful, layered and covered beautifully. Look at that. No issues there whatsoever. Isn't that a gorgeous red heart? So, the rest of the heart we will do... Um, oh, I need to mute my computer before it screams at you. The rest of the heart we will do the same way. So coming from the darkest, we'll bring it out to the lightest to the edge. Um, so, like the same here, could put Mortem, then, um, sorry, that's my tumble dryer finished. Uh, middle Cadmium Red, Permanent Carmine, and then Pale Geranium Lake to the edge. Okay, I'm going to go off and do that, go off camera and do that, scrap the last video and delete all that, and then I'll come back, hopefully, a much calmer, rational person. <laughs> Alright, folks, I'll see you in a second. Okay, folks, so I have filled in the heart, and I love it. Um, now we need to repair, well, not repair, we need to, yeah, we do, repair the skin. I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper, because I don't want to smudge that red into anything. And I'm doing the skin all the way down to in here. And then I'll go into her hair. So... I'm going to do a very light coat of beige red, my usual colours for polychromos. Um, oh, I can get myself sorted out. Okay, so beige red. Cut that. So I'm over my tantrum and upset, and I think that um, the page will be okay. I think we'll be all right. Just was just very upset that these pencils that I brought um, would do that to the page. Yeah, very upset. But we moved. I've moved on. I say, and I'm still waffling about it, but no, I went off, I finished the heart and then went off and did some um, other bits of housework and stuff and just took my mind off it. And I thought, do you know what, you guys are so supportive of me. 
I'm sure you would rather me tell you the truth about what it was and what went wrong than not. I mean, after all, isn't that what we're here for on this on our channels is to share with you the joy we have of colouring, crafts, and if something goes wrong, I would rather actually tell you about it than um, leave it to you to guess. So, so what happened was I brought the 120 set of Brute Funa square pencils. Yes. The, um, the uh, description said that they were a new improved formula and I do have the other Brute Funas but I, I didn't get on with them. So I've seen a few reviews, not, not, there isn't that many on YouTube to be fair and swatching them they were they were fine absolutely fine no problems at all but then I'm not layering with them so I'd had no experience of layering with these pencils so for whatever reason <clears throat> when I came to do little lady's face here little Miss February's face they just wouldn't layer and this just this film uh, built up like um, you know when you're using a wax based pencil and you get like a bloom and it and uh, you can wipe that off but you know you can't carry on layering well this happened after sort of like four layers um, and so I'm just trying to keep you in the frame and I could not get rid of it even erasing it wouldn't get rid of it so um, hence the I had to photocopy her face to rescue it um, and I'm just going to use the same colours that I did on her face so you're not missing anything. So I thought when I'd gone off and I was thinking to myself I thought well you're really silly because your viewers are going to want to know what it was and what happened. Um, so yeah so it was those pencils and um, I can't colour with them. Now you'll probably find people on YouTube that can. I'd be really interested to see, um, you know, what people can do with them. Because whether, like I said, sorry, I'm really out of breath then. Whether, like I said, sorry, this is cinnamon. I'm wittering on and you don't even know what colour I'm using. Cinnamon. Um, so whether, like I said, I've got a bad batch or I don't know, I don't know. Um, I must go and have a look at some of the reviews and see what other people have thought of, about them. Um, but I can't colour with them. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go, drama over. So there won't be any dramas. Um, I do think to myself, like I said, you are silly. Tell the people, tell your lovely friends what went wrong. So I'm just using the cinnamon, so you can see where my line stops, where I've stuck this piece of her face over. <laughs> uh, I thought it was quite a clever idea, otherwise the whole calendar would have been ruined, but there we are. And in two or three years time, I may even forget that that's happened. So, right, we've now got, um, we've got beige red and we've got, uh, on which we need to do down here too, cinnamon. I'm just going in where Kelly's given us some shade. Bringing that in. Okay, beautiful. Right, now the other colour that I like to use in skin is the Kaput Mortem, which we used in the um, heart for our shadows. So just very lightly, I'm going to build in some Kaput Mortem. And it just works really beautifully when you blend it out. Be 
into that deep bit there. And then we'll go back over with cinnamon. Then back over with the beige red or light flesh. And jobs are good as they say. So it's definitely, definitely, people, not the paper in Kelly's candle. Uh, candle? Goodness me. Not the paper in Kelly's um, calendar. Um, I've used Prismas. Um, we've used, what else did we use? We used uh, Pan Pastels. And now we're using Polys, which are oil-based. And so it's definitely not the paper. Right. Back in with some cinnamon. Polychromos are working beautifully on it, not a problem at all. And thankfully, I hadn't put too much of that other pencil down that on this bit I'd stopped, so I I'm able to get rid of that. You know, I was able to erase it, and it's not left that awful, like sh film sheen, whatever it was, on the page. Oil, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so this is our cinnamon, and then we're going to come back in with our beige red, and then the other colour I like to use is a little bit of ivory. Look at that, what a difference, people, honestly. Right, ivory. Please don't tell me I've lost my ivory. Is that it? No, nope, that's cream. It's normally in with all my skin colours. Here it is. Ivory. A little bit of ivory. And just going over that lighter bit. And I'm still doing it lightly, but I'm just forcing that blend because it had those other pencils over the top. But they seemed, the polys seem to be okay. Now I'm going to put a bit, chuck a bit more cinnamon in. Why not? Okay. I won't spend too long on this because there are lots of videos on my channel um, where I've done skin. There's quite a few now. And if it's polychromos, on the whole, they're the same colours. Um, there might be a few variants, but you know, you get the you'll get the picture. So just going back in with a bit of cinnamon. Then beige red again. And this is what I'm talking about. Polychromos, if you're not like pressing, gouging the page, will layer and layer and layer. They just don't let you down. And um, that is obviously where the shortfall is going to be for some of these cheaper budget pencils. I don't know why. Whether it's obviously something to do with the blend, ivory. I'm just going back in with ivory. With the actual um, makeup, the whatever blend they use, I'm not sure. But see, even that, Polychromos have done a brilliant job, but even that, I'm getting some resistance because of whatever that coating is. I should imagine some kind of oils. But awful. There. Okay. So I've got the body that I wanted in there. Now, what we have to think about now was, let me zoom out for a minute just so you can see. I'd started these in a blue turquoise and I was going to do the wings in that too. And I still like that idea. However, I think I might address the flowers first. Now I want these yellows. So I'm thinking yellows, um, yellows, sort of ochreys and purples, maybe, maybe purples. Um, and some pinks maybe, that might work well. Okay, let's have a look, where shall we start? So I've got those colours and ivory. 
So let's have a look at these. Um, let's have a look at these down here. So I am thinking these colours. So well, maybe a little bit of orange too. We'll see. Orange glaze. Cadmium yellow. Just cadmium yellow. <laughs> um, cream. Light yellow ochre and ivory. We'll try those. So I can't find my here it is, my practice picture. Right. So what I'm gonna do is just shove my eye for a minute. I'm going to where are you? I've lost you. There you go. Where's my piece of paper? Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? Here it is. I don't want to smudge those reds, so I'm just putting the paper down. Um, I'm going to go in the, cover the petal in ivory. Like that. We'll do this one too. Sorry, I'll try and keep my thumb out of the way. Right, let me come out a bit because I keep losing you. So a little ivory. There we go. Now, <coughs> um, let me see. Right, I'm going to go in with the yellow ochre. Just sharpening that. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I should have been much more organised. So light yellow ochre. And we're going to bring that in in coloured lines. Bring that in, Isn't that pretty colour. We will brighten this up, it's not going to be so dull. There we go. I'm thinking that I may have outgrown my lovely little art space this room. Now I do have a spare big double bedroom that was my youngest son's and I keep that so that they you know if we ever come out of lockdown again they can come and stay with us. However I'm sure they could come and stay in a smaller room. Um, cadmium yellow. So I'm going to put that in now. Oh, that's beautiful look at that. Bring that down. I don't want too much of it because it's very bright. Yeah, so I'm thinking to myself while I've got my spare time off school, which is da always dangerous, that um, I might like to move my office. <laughs> okay, now this is cream. So I'm going to put a bit of cream in the tips, but I'm still keeping the bit of that ivory. Not a lot, but it's there. And then, just for a bit of added interest, I'm going to throw in the orange glaze. Just so, just sharpen it. Just so it brightens it up a little bit. Just flicking that in. There. Just soften it out. There we are. A lot of colours for a teeny tiny space, but very well worth it. Goes well with the red. There we are. So what do you think, people? If you had the option to stay where you are and spend more time colouring, or move to a bigger space, so, oh, look, my hand's done that whole shaky thing. Move to a bigger space where um, I can keep everything a little bit more tidy, more easily accessible. What would you do? 
It's going to be a lot of work to swap it all over, I know that much. There, I think that's so cute. Let's, I'm not going to change the colour com combo because it might, if we don't include the ivory, it might actually, I'm just going to try and blend out that streak of orange where my hand went funny. It might actually change the look of it. So, we're going in here on the tip of this one, with the ivory. And then I'm going to take the um, light yellow ochre, bring that down. I know it seems, you know, quite a lot of colours for a small space, but I don't want um, a kind of blanket look, and it it will give us that um, just that interest in it, I suppose. The orange. And then the cream. So that's how I'm going to do all of those down the bottom there. That orangey, orangey red. Um, right, I need to do our eyes. The lips are going to be more red, so I haven't finished that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, folks. I'm stumped. I wonder if we do. I wonder if we do the butterflies orangey red. Hmm. I'm going to go off and have a think about our colour scheme. Now I'm feeling calmer. Yeah, so there she is at the moment. I'm going to go off and have a think about our colour scheme so that it all works together and then I'll come back and we'll get going again. See you in a second. Good morning folks, it's now Wednesday at half past ten in the morning and this picture is giving me such a headache. <laughs> I love it and I don't want to get it wrong. So trying to get all the colours in is giving me quite a headache. So I am going to do her hair in like a sort of ash blonde colour. And the reason being for that I want her face to come out and her wings and I don't know. It just works so that I can have all the other colours in the picture. So I'm going to bring you down and we'll get started. You'll have to excuse my very messy desk. My new tripod is on the way, hopefully. So I've just got three simple colours for this. I've got Nugget, I've got Warm Grey 3, and I've got Warm Grey 1. And it just kind of works. So, let's start. Where should we start? Um, let's do this. I'm trying to find a bit that's really easy to show you. Let's do this little tiny bit here around her face. So I'm going to take the nugget, which is the darkest of our colour, and gently flick that in where Kelly's given us the lines. And this will help to keep to give us definition in her hair so it's not just flat. So just flick that in. Then I'm taking warm grey three, if you can see it. Try to get it. There you go. Warm grey three, and I'm going back over that. I'm bringing that in together. I have to be careful there. That's where I've cut her face out. <laughs> oh dear. Trials and tribulations, folks. And then warm grey one. I'm just going over all of that, and it's just a nice soft look that will allow us to use all the colours we want in the flowers, the wings and the uh, butterflies. There. Okay, should we do the other bit? I hope you could see all that. I don't move the tripod because, um, like I say, it's broken. So, in with Nugget and pull out those dark lines, particularly round there. And I'm going to Tuck that nugget in around that flower. Just bring out some streaks. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I keep you on camera. So this would be the darkest bit around this gorgeous little flower. And then bring in those 
streaks of nugget. All the concentration is real, folks. And as you notice, I have actually torn this out of the calendar, which I'm kicking myself for now, because I was ready to scrap the whole thing and get very upset um, yesterday. But today's a new day. I feel much more positive and ready to get this picture up to you. Okay, and then we use our warm grey one to fill that in gently. And then just deepen any colours you want. And I really think that when we get the wings and the rest of the flowers and things done, that this will work so well. Okay. There we go. So that's how I'm going to do our hair. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Right, roses, exactly the same colour as we did the hair. So our four colours was Kaput Mortem, um, Middle Cadmium Red, Permanent Carmine and the Gorgeous Pale Geranium Lake. So same as we did the heart, I'm going to pick out the dark, you need a sharp pencil, pick out the dark areas, not too much because it's a tiny teeny tiny um, concentrating teeny tiny um, area so we don't want to overwhelm it with the kaput mortem but it will just help with our picking out the dark spots I hope that makes sense okay now we're going in with middle cadmium red we're going to pick that out Go over the Kaput Mortem. Coming into the centre there with this one. It's a bit fiddly, but it will be worth it. So I was, um, I, I know I've promised to do a lot of pictures. Um, I've had a lot of requests to do more in Kirby. So I will put a poll up after this colour along for which book comes next because I know I'm very aware that everybody wants to do a serene page. So I put a poll up. We will get to them all but it will just be for which, sorry this is um, Permanent Carmine. This It will just be for which one we do next together but we will get to them all. And what I will do is perhaps put up a poll each week until we've got through all those requests for colour alongs that I had in that little book when we did the Kirby page. Okay, let's. So this is the uh, Pale Geranium Lake. Um, so I hope that makes sense to everyone. I just want it to be fair. And we can go back in and deepen all this up. Oh. That could put more to really helps to give us our dark spaces there. Goes crazy dog. Apologies, people. I wouldn't mind, but it's not even mine. <laughs> he likes to say hello to you all. Okay, so I'm now going back in with the darkest of our red, which is the middle cadmium red. I'm just going to deepen up some spaces just because we seem to, oops, seem to have lost a bit of definition in there. That 
that's helping, that's better. Okay. Let's pick out some of those petals. Then our um, permanent carmine. And then back in with our pale geranium lake. There we go. Beautiful. We can always add some highlights to that later. So that's how I'm going to do the roses. Now these daisy-like um, flowers, we've got three. I'm going to do this one, the one here, and there is one here behind the butterfly. I'm going to do them all the same. So I am going to, I've got four colours. I have got, if you can see that, cream. I have to tilt it funny. I've got pink madder lake. And then for the centre, I've got light yellow ochre and bista. Bista. I never get it right. I did have a subscriber tell me, um, and I've forgotten. <laughs> okay, so in with the cream. I'm going to colour each of those petals in cream, and it's important to get a good coat. Not heavy, but just make sure that colour goes in. I won't do every single petal because it will drive you bonkers. Okay, then we're going to take our beautiful pink madder lake and on the tips, around the side, I'm just going to introduce that pink very lightly. There we go. It just blends into that cream really nicely. Just gives a hint of pink rather than it being too much. Okay, there we go on the tip and just lightly bring it in. There we go. I think that looks really, it's delicate, but it's a, a really lovely combination. Okay, so for the centre, we've got um, all these little dark patches. So I'm going to take the Bista, Bista, um, and I'm going to just, oops, my fault, pressed too hard or sharpened it too much. I'm just like randomly dotting in this colour. I'll go around the edge. Like that. And then I'm going to take the um, light yellow ochre and fill that in. Simple but effective. There we go. And we can go back in and deepen those little squiggles in that I put in. Deepen up the edge. Just so it kind of, you know, like in the daisies there, the top bit stands up, doesn't it? Away from the flower. So, like that. There we go. There, don't faff too much. So, I'm going to do those three flowers the same. Let's, like, this one I'm kind of stumped at at the moment. I'm thinking that I'm going to do them in oranges, the poppy and this one. I'm not sure. So, let's do leaves. We've got a few leaves. We've got the leaves down here by the pot. And we've got... Um, oh, yeah, there's a couple here, look. So, I want to keep the brightness, but I don't want them too in your face. So, I've just got three colours. Um, and they are... Um, juniper green, which is a gorgeous green, earth green yellowish, and grass green. Now, I very rarely use this pencil, but it seems to work with this picture. 
So if we focus on this leaf down here, this is a good one. I'm going to... I've tried to be more organised and get my pencils sharpened and have them to hand. So... Um, I'm not moaning in the camera that I can't find anything. My office is an absolute tip. I mean, a real tip. There's books everywhere, pencils everywhere. Uh, oh, it's just horrendous. So when I've done this colour along, you can tell what I'm going to be doing. And I don't think I dare swap rooms, to be fair, because if this is the mess I've got in a little room, what's it going to be like if I've got a bigger room? So, <laughs> okay, so earth green yellowish. And I am going to go down the centre and bring that out where Kelly's given us like the, the veins of the leaf. A little bit in the tip. It keeps, we, we do get to keep the brightness of the grass green, but it kind of tones it down, makes it a little bit more earthy. We will go back in with grass green. Okay. Gonna bring that right out, actually. Go back onto the edge for this grass green. And if you find it's too bright, just lightly run over it with the earth green yellowish and it will tone it down, but I quite like it in this picture. Which is why I wanted to keep her hair um, subtle. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, juniper green, and I'm going to run down the centre. Effective but simple. Just going to swish you round for a minute and then just again pick out that definitions on the leaf that Kelly's given us. There. And that is how I'm going to do the leaves. Oh, don't do that, Lucy. Okay, so let's come out. Oh, if my camera will let me hurry up tripod look at the mass can you see the mass this is carnage this is just one side I, I don't even show you the other <laughs> us artists the things we have to pay for eh? right so I'm going to go off and color the roses the daisies and the leaves and then we'll meet back up and uh, oh on her hair not not much of a challenge at all Lucy and then we'll meet back back up and um, do the rest together see you in a second Okay, folks, here she is. So I've done all the leaves. I did these little um, buds on a chest as the roses colour. And the time to delay is over, people. I have to consider these gorgeous wings. Now, I want subtle but bright. So I've experimented with so much stuff, you wouldn't believe it. I've got pages and pages and pages where I've practised and used different media. So... What I'm going to do is a very uh, pale um, pale colour on the wings and then I'm going to go over with some of my gorgeous glittery um, paint from Pigment and Quirks which I will link down below so that you can um, have a look and I just need it to lift the page. Um, she feels like a love potion, like to me like spring, you know, it's happy, it's... And I don't want to tone her down or deepen it up. Now, because I use those other unmentionable pencils here, I'm going to kind of stick with those colours. So, I've got three. So, if I bring the camera in and we focus on this wing, can you see where I've erased it? I hope that I'm not going to have problems with this. So, I've only got three colours. And I've got the beautiful cream. I've got uh, cobalt green. And I've got light cobalt turquoise. I hope you can pick those up. Okay. So, fingers crossed for me, people. Please, I hope this hasn't ruined this bit of page. So, I'm going in with cream. Oh, it seems to be going over it. Oh, thank goodness for that. Gosh, I was putting it off. I was so worried about it after having to replace her face. Okay. So, and I haven't gone mad. Bear with me. 
This was um, experimental, but I really liked the way it came out. So. Now, one thing I did find about pigment and quirk paints while I was experimenting is that even the metallic ones, you can colour over with pencil. So you could put your definition in in pencil if you wanted to do that, which is an incredible thing to find out. So it was well worth experimenting. OK, so I'm now going to take our light cobalt turquoise and I'm going to go in where the shadow is. And with the cream underneath, it gives us this beautiful, subtle green-blue hint. And it's, it's just beautiful. A bit like we did with the flowers. Um, but it keeps her wings delicate and fresh looking. I hope um, this makes sense to you. I don't know. It's just how I felt that it needed to be. Okay, so I'm doing going there just round where the shadow is and coming in with the lines that Kelly's given us. Okay. Now, if I want any more depth, I can go back in and deepen that up. However, if we put in this um, cobalt green very sparingly, can you see, is the shadow so horrendous in this room? One of the reasons why I wanted to swap rooms, I hope that helps a bit better. I'm sorry about my shadow. It is daylight here. Well, it's dark, <laughs> dingy outside. But so if we go in very cautiously with the this cobalt green and bring that in, I'm just doing it really lightly. The cream stops it being too bold and keeps it. Um, quite muted, which I like, which is what I was going for. Crazy Dog says hello again. Okay, isn't that pretty? I love that. Well, I'm not finished. I'm not finished there. So, what I got was um, out of my little set of pigment and quirks paints. These are my spares that I've got in here. Um, we've used this colour before, but I've been playing let me come out so you can see the deliciousness that they are. They're just absolutely stunning. She's going to do some neon colours and let me test those too, which I can't wait. Anyway, what I was saying <laughs> before I got distracted is this colour from Pigment and Quirks is Frost. Now, we have used it before, um, and I'm just going to show you what happens. So, I've got a little bit of water and a graduate Dale Run Rowney round brush number six. And I'm just going to, it doesn't take much at all, a little bit of water. And watch this magic. All right, let me come back in. Hang on, sorry, I do apologise. Got to find my thing. There we go. Okay, so. And then I'm just going to brush this over the top of our pencil work. And... It is just beautiful. I might need to put another layer on. But it just gives it that silvery shimmer without taking away the colour of our pencil. So, let me lift that up. Now this is wet, so when it's dry, you'll see, look at that. So you'll get this gorgeous shimmery effect. Absolutely stunning. So, now I've done that, <laughs> I'm going to have to dry it. I don't want to do that on camera because the air gun is so loud. I'm going to do all the wing like this here, all of this, and this little bit down here. And then I'll pop back when it's done and it's dry and you can see the effect. I mean, if you don't have the pigment and uh, quirk paints, I highly recommend them, by the way. But if you don't have them, um, you could use um, stickles and bring out the highlight whatever it was just that I had those and I thought oh my gosh gosh they'd look beautiful on wings okay folks give me a bit and I'll see you in a second okay folks I hope you can pick up on this look at that shimmer I've done the little butterflies in the same 
and look at the look at the oh it's just lush <laughs> okay so we've got the little butterfly bodies to do so let's do one of those let's come in and I did that bit down there as well I said I would do okay so I've got walnut and I've got beaster beaster <laughs> So I've got those two. So I'm just going to pick out, they're very sharp, I've sharpened them. I'm just going to pick out the back edge of his body and a little leg and the antennae and then just fill in, oops, fill in the rest with the beaster. So it stands out but it, it kind of blends with our hair too. So this one will do the same. Pick out with the dark colour his antennae, which is the walnut brown. <gasps> oh. oh, it's not quite dry. Let me take a piece of paper. That'll do. Um, sorry, I'll swing him round just so that um, I'm not, that wing's still a little wet. Just going round the edge of his body with the walnut. what not to do. It's because oh, I get the shakes when I'm doing detail. Okay, there we are. I think you get the picture for that. Let's do, let's just finish it. Come on, instead of keep editing. So his little head up onto his antennae, round body where it draws joins his wings and then the beaster or bister beaster there we are okay shiny glossy wings lush love it okay right let's zoom back out oh my gosh you should see my office it's going to take me three days to clear it up seriously so I want to bring these colours into this so I'm going to sharpen cream. I'm trying to do this all in one video so that um, because I've stressed about it so much I want it all to be together. I don't know if that makes sense or why but okay so this was another one that I had started and coloured when I scrapped the first video. So I'm going in with cream the same as we did these but I'm going to add a bit of different colour. It seems to be colouring over okay with the polychromos, thank goodness. Um, I don't know what happened with her face, like I say, it was just a horrendous ordeal. <laughs> so I'm going to save up for the Lumies. Yes, I am. And the Holbeins, definitely. So I'm colouring all this in cream and I'm going to get a good coat of cream on there, like this, such a pretty colour, it's more of a yellow isn't it than a cream I think, but it's lovely. Okay, then we're going to take the two colours we used for our butterfly which is cobalt green and light cobalt turquoise okay so I'm going to start on the edge with the um, cobalt cobalt green sorry I couldn't and just lightly bring it out and we are going to deepen that edge up in a minute so I'm coming all the way around here and then just letting it soften out And that cream just tones down the light cobalt turquoise which we're going to put in. And I'm just lightly going over. The entire bit of cream. And the reason I've put, like I say, the reason I've put the cream down is it just keeps that colour muted but the cream still kind of shows through, if that makes sense. 
Okay, so I'm going back in with the cobalt green. And then the turquoise. Okay, then I'm going to take um, Halio turquoise, uh, turquoise, I hope that's how you say it. And then I'm just going to deepen up this edge. So I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm going to go back in with our colours. We can help that. line fade out better back in with our turquoise Ooh, that was my tummy rumbling I've been doing this all morning and you kind of forget food don't you <laughs> you've kind of forget that um, you're hungry it's great for a diet colouring okay and we're just going to let those colours build up There we go. So I'm going to do that all the way around and I'm going to add my, where are you, sheen on the bottle. Um, and we are going to do, let's have a look at this. So peacock feather, I need to just, a um, piece of paper. So I'm going to take the um, Helio turquoise and I'm going to run right up the centre. I'm thinking I might even add a little bit of gel pen. Right, I'm coming like a third of the way up. I'm feathering it out. Just to give it an even more of a fluffy appearance. About a third of the way up. And then we'll add the other two colours in. Kind of unify our page a bit. Can always deepen it up. I have a feeling this video is going to be a very long one, or it feels very long, I suppose, because I did the um, first bit, you know, that I had to delete and start again. But I think it will be quite long. Okay, then in with the cobalt green. And then bring that out. So I've got the um, Uniball glitter gel pens, and I'm thinking we're going to put some of that on this page too. Okay, and then in with our last colour, which is the light turquoise. Where's my... I'm just going to sharpen my pencil. The um, light cobalt turquoise. And fill in the rest. It just stood out. I don't know if it is like a peacock feather, but I like the colours together. So... I think it's probably not, it's just a feather. But it brings all the colours together. A little bit in there. There we go. So it might a bit more fluff in there. There we go, you can play with that until you're happy. I'll just put, I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. And then I think I'm going to put some gel pen on that so that will stand out. Okay, let's come out and have a look. Here we are. She's so beautiful. These pictures are so amazing when they're coloured, aren't they? So I'm going to go off and finish my bluish turquoise pot. And um, then we'll come back, finish these three flowers which I'm probably to be fair I'm going to do in the same colours but just change how we do it and um, we finish our little our eyes and our eyebrows and then we'll be done I'll see you in a sec okay so 
I've done the bottle and I've filled in with the dark, the same colours we used as the feathers for the centre and put the frost on top so we've got some unification of the page. Now we use yellow and orange down the bottom here and I'm going to bring that in to those three flowers here. Um, so if we come down and have a look at this one here, I've got these colours. Okay, now it might seem a bit of a mishmash of colours, but it does work. Okay, so I've got um, our brown ochre, our light yellow ochre, our Naples yellow. Sorry, could you see those? Um, and we've got dark chrome yellow, which is a gorgeous orange, and orange glaze. Okay, so I don't want them too, too in your face, but I need a bit of, I just feel I need a bit of colour. So I'm going in with the Naples yellow. I'm just going to get my piece of paper just so I don't smear more my paint. And I'm going to put the Naples yellow lightly over the entire flower. I hope this video isn't too long. <laughs> I don't want to have to edit parts and, and put two parts up, so I hope you don't mind a long video and that you've stuck with me so far. I think this, for me, it was the hardest picture to colour. I don't know why. When I look at the others, I can see clearly the direction I want to go in, but this one just kind of threw me. OK, so that was the Naples yellow. Then I'm going to put in the brown ochre, and I'm just going to do that around this top section. around that and into the centre and then we'll go back with that um, uh, light yellow ochre just to fill that centre in okay we'll put those to one side for a minute okay now we've got our brights so we've got orange glaze let's put I'm just going to flick some of that in in sort of random areas not because it is so bright and I just don't want them to look like an anomaly on the page, you know? Like they don't fit. So I'm just flicking it in in the direction of the lines Kelly's given us. To brighten it up. Okay, then we're going in with our dark chrome yellow. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to fill in a little bit down here. Just help blend those colours. And then back to our um, Naples yellow. And I'm just going to make sure that those ends are filled in. I'm going to put a little bit around there, darken that up. So nothing fancy, just there. Okay, so that's that first one. Now this one I think looks a bit like a poppy. So we're going to use the same colours. I need my paper back just so I don't smush everything. So Naples yellow. If I just do the one petal with you. do this petal fill it up with Naples yellow and then we're going to put those other colours in so here's our um, orange glaze I'm going to find Kelly's darkest lines I'm going to put a bit of that in down the bottom there. And the um, dark chrome yellow. I'll put a little bit of that in. There we are. And a tiny, tiny bit of the um, brown ochre just coming off the centre. And that will just deepen up that 
orange, a little bit maybe down there, and dividing the petals. Okay, the centre we're going to do the same, but I'm just going to bring in another colour. So I want a darker colour, so I'm going to bring in Bister again. And I'm going to put that at the bottom where it's darkest into our brown ochre. And then the um, light yellow ochre in the top. There we go. And I am going to put some more orange in there, brighten that orange up. There we go. All right, so that's how I'm going to do that one. And the little tiny one up here, the centre will be done the same. So our um, Vista. Can you see? Yes, you can. Around the darkest point. Then our brown ochre, we might lose a little bit of our butterfly body there, so I've got to be a bit careful there. And then the, um, where is it? <laughs> Light yellow ochre around that, so we don't lose our butterfly body. There we go. All right, now the oranges. Let's take those out. So we're going with our um, orange glaze at the base. Bring that out. Let that fade away into the dark chrome yellow. Let that fade away. And then our Naples yellow. So we've got a nice sort of orange blend petal. So let's come out and have a look. <coughs> Beautiful. I'm thinking that that will either be red or the orange, and I think, I don't know, probably the, I don't know, or we could even do the cream and the pink in there, that might look quite nice, wouldn't it? Hmm, okay. All right, I will head off and fill that in, and then we'll come together to do the gel pen and the final touches, people. See you in a sec. Okay folks, so we're ready for the final touches. I did that in just the yellow that we'd use on the flowers and the orange glaze. Um, I wish I hadn't, I wish I'd have done it in the pink and cream, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we need to look at her face and do her eyes and her eyebrows and her lips. So let's come in, here she is, my little cutie. So I've just got two colours for her eyes because they're so tiny. I've got the light cobalt turquoise and I've got um, sky blue. So I'm just going to put the light cobalt turquoise in the top. So teeny tiny. And then the sky blue around the bottom. Just let those blend in together. There. Okay. And Bista, Bista, Bista for her eyebrows. Same colours we used for her hair, so that makes sense. Okay, we're going to give her a few lashes. And a few down here. Now, just by following that line of her eye will give the illusion of a few lashes, so... And then um, I will put black in there when I can find ah, ah, black. Let's sharpen it. Right, and then we'll just put just deepen up that pupil. There we go. I need a little bit more blue in that eye. We will need a... God, can you hear all my paper rustling about? I will need a tiny drop, a tiny dot of white 
gel pen in there. Right, lips. Let's try uh, medium flash. Let's try that. So, medium flash. And let's just experiment. There we are. And then we can go in with, let's have a pink, let's go in and mix it up with um, some salmon. And we can put, when I can find my gel pen, we can put white highlight in there. That's nice, it looks quite a natural colour. Right, now, I've got these pens, which you've seen before, I've used, I use them quite a lot. It's the um, Uniball Sparkling Ink. Um, medium nib 0.8 they are awesome so I've got this one which is out of that packet and it's just called gold and I am going to color this bit let's come in so you can see oh, wrong way I'm gonna color this bit gold And then the next colour I've got is <coughs> red, of course. I'm going to drop that in the centre. And I think it will look quite cool if I do gold around the edges. So instead of more red, but because it, it kind of fits in with our yellow ochre colours. But you can do it however you want. But I'm just going to fill those in with the gold gel pen. Like that, before it runs out. And then um, I'll do that all the way around. And then I'm going to put a little bit of white gel pen. <coughs> Excuse me. Down the side. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Okay. And I've got green. Now... If our wings aren't sparkly enough, they will be. So I'm going to edge the edge of the wings. In this beautiful green. It will just take away the pencil, black pencil lines. And... <coughs> Oh, I do apologise. Got a tickly throat. And just make them stand out a bit more. So that's what I'm going to do there. And then, on this feather, be careful I don't smudge it, I'm going to put, maybe let's have a centrepiece, sparkly centrepiece. And on the little edges. Just put some of that in there. put some more tops in it actually that's quite cute there I'm not going to overdo it don't overdo it Lucy okay and on the bottom so we can do green sparkly green around the edge there and on the detail here Why not, people? Why not? We can do it all the way around the edge of the bottle, too, if we so choose. Because it's our project. There. Okay. Right, I'm going to zoom out. I am just going to go off camera for the final time. And I'm going to put the gel pen in the butterfly too and then I'll come meet back up and we will have a beautiful complete picture. See you in a sec. I'm holding the tripod so if the camera shakes I do apologise. Here she is folks in all her glory finally finished 
<laughs> the trials and tribulations I had to go through, but I love her, isn't she beautiful? Um, great big thank you to Kelly O'Gorman for the... I'm going to try and let go of the camera because I'm shaking, I do apologise. A great big thank you to Kelly O'Gorman for cr creating this gorgeous artwork. Um, I'm going to try and hold my... there we go, is that better? I'm going to put a poll up for our next colour along so it'll have Serene, Kirby and all the books like Bennett Klein and things like that that I promise we'll do a colour along in so you can vote and we'll pick them off one by one voting. Um, I hope that's okay. Thank you so so much for watching and sticking with me. Um, I eventually thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> all right folks I'm going to let you go. Take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.